Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt here on YouTube, Rush Truck Centers in Greeley, Colorado. Um, this is a truck we don't see much of at this point anymore, but this is a 548. This replaced the old 348s. Um, this is a 2023 Peterbilt 548. Now, it's a completely new design from a 348, as you can tell from the cab. Very nice looking truck. You'll recognize the cab because it's the same cab as a 579 or a 567. It's what Peterbilt calls their 2.1 meter cab. So the new 589's coming out in about a year and a half. Same cab, different hood. And you'll still be able to get those 589's in a short hood and an extended hood. Uh, but for now, this is a 548. We normally do quite a few medium duties uh, through this store, but it's been so difficult to get them um, that we've just really been chopped down. These are built in St. Therese, Quebec. This one uh, is sold. It's a straight truck, 20,000 pound steer axle, 40,000 pound rears, full double frame, full length double frame. It runs a Packard PX9, which is the same, it's made for Packar by Cummins. Just a different valve cover. That's it, and it's painted gray. This one's 380 horsepower, 1,250 foot pounds of torque, with an Allison 3500 RDS behind it. So I just thought I'd give you a view of the new cab. Um, this one took a rock in the windshield on the way here, so we replaced the windshield. It's the exact same windshield as a 579 or a 567. So just to give you an idea. This one has no back window because they're putting a body on it. You can see that vertical exhaust. Nothing fancy about this. It's pretty much work spec. I'm not going to do a huge deal on the inside, but I will show you the inside. Those yellow handles are what we call the high vis handles. Normally they're black, but for safety reasons, you can get them in yellow rubber floor mat this one does have dual air seats 20,000 pound steer axle so we have 385 tires on the steer axle here those are rated for 10,000 pounds per tire let's take a look at the business end here so that's actually a cummins nine liter stuffed in there 20,000 pound steer axle And this is my first view of one of these as well. I can't quite see if I can get in there to show you the tag, but it is a 380 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. So it's a little, kind of a little tough to see compared to the the big boys, but. Whoops, we gotta, gotta flip this up, anti-blow down, so the wind doesn't catch it. And the, the hold down, these are, put them in and then pull that down, which I like. Fuel tank under the cab, small def tank, batteries right behind that. As you can see, this is a complete double frame right there. Goodyear tires, all aluminum wheels. Not a whole lot going on back here. Obviously, it's designed for a body. So with that, a lot of the stuff back here gets taken off. standard door panel this is your your base model standard interior it's your four-way flashers and your lights and your dash lights it does have power locks power windows and power mirrors and heated mirrors there's your heat right there new dash and totally new interior 
it's totally different in here than the old 348. Way more room. I think you guys will really like this. Let's see if we can... fired up so that's the noise you hear when it uh, is low on air or there's something you need to pay attention to sorry about that I should have had it aired up before I started it but there's your cruise control spare switch there's your inner axle diff lock here suspension dump and then your Regen. Tons of room. Got some USB ports and power outlets down here. Cup holders, they don't vibrate. As I said, this one's an Allison. So this is what's selected, and this is your monitor. It tells you where you're at. You can run this in manual mode as well. So I apologize for the noise. Here. Air horns under the cab. Some lights here. Just push on those. And then you can select whether you put the off, on, or go with the doors. Some little pockets up top here. Just a great view. This is a very, very nice cab compared to the 348s. Automatic climate control. Set it, forget it. So you just set your temperature and push auto. Oops. Push auto. And it'll heat or cool whatever it needs to keep it at that temperature. So I just thought I'd share this one with you. Let's see if I can get a good view of the. Just a really nice truck. Really nice cab. And this chassis weighs 15,117 pounds. And it's heavy duty. It's like I said, it's double frame. So, just thought I'd share this one with you. Again, it's a 548. It replaces the old 348s. This is our medium duty, or what we call a baby eight. Do a lot of these for water tankers, some small vac trucks. Just all kinds of applications, rollbacks, uh, roll-offs, all kinds of stuff. So it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt Rush Truck Centers in Greeley, Colorado. 970-691-3877 or Couch K, C-O-U-C-H-K at RushEnterprises.com. Thanks for watching, guys.